Okay, folks, fasten your seatbelts. We're about to learn a crazy tune called the Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> Okay, so now that you've heard it, let's learn how to do it. So this is a challenging tune, intermediate in the beginning and then more advanced. So I'm going to teach it to you in a five step lesson process. The first four lessons are all gonna be on the A part. I'm gonna walk through what we're gonna do in this lesson and then I'm gonna show you the basic pattern. Okay, so let's do that. In this first lesson we're just going to learn how to do the bowing and and this can be done by actually an advanced beginner if you're following the fiddlehead course maybe you're like you're halfway through the beginner module and so that we'll, we'll learn this today all right the second lesson we're going to take that basic rhythm rhythmic pattern and add more advanced fingering all right in the third lesson, we're going to start to learn how to play the chords that happen in this tune. And so we'll focus, and each step we're going to have a different focus. And then in the fourth lesson, we actually pull back and put it all together. We put together the whole pattern, which I played in the beginning. The fifth lesson is just the B part, which I did not do in the very beginning, but here's a bit of how it sounds. All right, and I just want to give a bit of a disclaimer about learning this tune. First of all, I didn't really want to give this lesson because I, I see it as like a very show-offy sort of pattern, but a lot of people kept requesting it and then as I started to delve into it, I realized that you could actually learn a lot by really doing this. And what's cool about learning the Orange Blossom Special is that you can start early in your career as a fiddler and learn the steps very gradually throughout time. So start with the basic rhythm and then eventually when you learn raise third, you could do that. And so it could be like a really fun thing to slowly learn over time if you're into that. So anyhow, well, let's just get started with learning the basic pattern. And when you'll walk away from this lesson knowing it, and it's, you're, once you get it, you'll have a lot of fun with this, I think. So here we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna start just on going D to A string. I'm gonna have you do a very simple triplet exercise. We're just gonna go D, D, A. And then we're gonna loop on that and we're gonna give a little accent to that open A. Use a little bit of grit with the bow, a little bit of press. So practice that on your own, that triplet exercise until it's comfortable. And then we're gonna add a little variation to that. We're gonna do it going D to A, and then D to A1. I'll just play it without talking. Now try to do that a few times, twice in a row, say. Let's do that again, more slowly. So we almost have the whole pattern. If you can do that, then you're very close. Let, let's stay with this a little bit and do a little exercise. I'm going to play that and then count three, four afterwards. So like. Three, four. So. Three, four. Three, four. And now to complete the exercise, I'm going to show you what we do in that three, four space. We do the beginning of the paradiddle pattern. D, D, A, D, right? So do it again. 
So the first bigger piece was this. And then we add. So now I'm going to do the whole pattern very slowly. Let's do it again slightly more quickly. Three, four, and. So if you got this, kudos to you, congratulations. If you're still struggling with it, do not worry. You can get this. You just have to practice the steps individually. So that's the core of the whole fiddlehead method is small steps, small wins, otherwise known as micro practice. So the first step would be just triplets, D to A, then alternating A and A1. If you only get one of those steps down today, then that also is a small win for you. All right, and then the full pattern. So now let's practice this full pattern with the play along track from the Fiddlehead lesson page. One, two, three, four. So I'm just going to keep moving forward with that. If you're still struggling with it, you, you can hang with this lesson because all I'm going to do is just say, do this on other strings. So it would translate the whole thing we did, but just start it on open G. So the, that, the official word for that is transposing. And then once you get it, loop on it at your own pace. So you could use a G drone here. Play it really slow. Or and then eventually speed it up. You could also do the, the preliminary steps, the triplets. And then if we started on D, we would use a D drone. And we started on A, we use an A drone. All right, so I'm just gonna close the lesson by giving you a slight variation on this that you can practice. And all it is is, let's just do it D to A. We're gonna go D, A, one, low two, one. There's the whole pattern, but instead of just going um, open A to A one, bouncing back and forth there, our journey will be A, Open A, A1, A low 2, back down to A1, back to open A. So listen. A, A1, low 2, 1. Again. All right, and then as usual, try to transpose it to another string. So that concludes this uh, lesson. In the next lesson, we'll use more advanced fingering that you'll actually find in the tune itself. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention something really important. I forget so many things, but this this is that this is a this tune is written by Irvin T. Rouse. I'm not even sure I'm saying the n name correctly, but uh, I'll try to remember to put a link to the original version because it's super cool it does there's a lot of cool fiddle tricks in that which i didn't even add to this lesson because there's i'm trying to really get you to do this difficult one pattern but you know, go and listen to the version not only is it very technically 
cool, but it just sounds really cool. They emulate the sound of a train. You know, I think the Orange Blossom special was a train. And if any of you know the history of it, please tell me about it in a comment below because I actually know how to fiddle, but I don't know a lot about the culture and the history. And, and so I love learning about that when students know a little bit and they contribute. So anyway, stay tuned for the next lesson in which we'll do, we'll add some more challenging fingerings to the basic pattern. All right, thanks for watching. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.